Hello, welcome to our Metaphor Stories podcast with me, your host, Ogi and Jeeves. And your co-host, Haris Exalati. We will cover up all the emerging and new blockchain gaming. Well, not just gaming NFTs, but the whole Metaverse. Yes, and not forget in partnership with... The Club! How are you, Slats? I'm great, uh, Uchi. Thanks for uh, thanks for having me today. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure of mine also. <laughs> so we'll have uh, this interview uh, started now. Um, would you please brief uh, us here and introduce yourself to our community? Me and Jeff are really ex- exciting to learn more about you, including your background, and how you discovered this Star Atlas Metaverse. Sure. Uh, hello, everybody, uh, and welcome. Uh, so, everybody, uh, everyone calls me Slats. Uh, I'm one of the English uh, leaders. Uh, Uh, guilds. The core responsibilities are uh, in, in advising uh, on investments for the community. Uh, my my initial foray in the cryptocurrency space uh, began back in 2016, uh, early 2016. Uh, so I've been through a few cycles. Uh, I was also an early adopter uh, of NFTs uh, and and got involved with the blockchain a gaming space uh, almost four years ago now. Um, I was uh, actually one of the early members of the Axie Infinity Discord. I, I recall when there were only a few hundred members uh, of that community. Uh, up until this uh, this past spring, uh, all of this was a bit of a, a bit of a side hustle for me. Although uh, I was very active in the space, uh, it was really a secondary occupation for me. Um, however, this past this past June, I, I took a leap of faith and uh, I resigned from my position as an executive. Uh, for a large pension fund, uh, so that I could focus uh, on on this space exclusively, which is uh, my real passion. Uh, as it relates to uh, Star Atlas specifically, um, I was actually introduced to the project uh, through my Twitter feed. Uh, so I, I follow a lot of people uh, in the blockchain gaming space uh, and and the cryptocurrency space as a whole. Uh, and and this this project immediately caught my attention. So I began to do you know, a deeper dive into the project, uh, read through the white paper, uh, and from that point forward, I, uh, I was monitoring uh, its, its progress closely uh, and ultimately made uh, the decision to invest early uh, in the poster sale, which has uh, really been a, a positive experience uh, so far. Right, right. That's great. A, little about, a little bit about me. Right. Very, very nice uh, brief uh, from you, Slats, and then... 2016, if I'm not wrong. Do that. That's right. Wow, wow. Me, for me, is a uh, 2019. Since this pandemic uh, uh, started, <laughs> I started it. But you are a long way uh, go before me. That's uh, very nice and cool. And you know, because we we need to also have. Uh, A good a community with this uh, space, right? So the uh, our uh, our journey into this crypto gravy also uh, not take the wrong uh, wrong uh, wrong wrong way in uh, in uh, in uh, in our uh, journey to learn it about it. Uh, I also have uh, some uh, personal uh, experience about it, but when we get the good community. We are for sure uh, learn from it and then get the opportunity from it also. Absolutely. Yes, 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 yes. I'm sorry. I need to navigate that one and then uh, we sharing in our uh, Discord the club that we are already live. Uh, maybe somebody want to see us in live. Okay, and uh, uh, my next question. The Star Atlas games has a two token, Police and Atlas. Could you please explain their use case within the Star Atlas metaverse? 
Sure. Uh, let's let's dive into uh, just our Atlas's tokenomics. Uh, so as you said, there are two tokens. There's the Atlas uh, token and Polis. Um, Atlas is the in-game transactional currency uh, used as a medium medium of exchange, uh, you know, for the digital economy, um, you know, such as purchases from the marketplace for in-game items. Um, it will be used in virtually. Uh, it will be used virtually for every transaction uh, within the metaverse, uh, and will also be uh, one of the primary uh, financial reward mechanisms uh, for players uh, for in-game activities. You know, such as uh, ship missions. Um, the token is uh, is inflationary, uh, so it, it they really aim to match the growth of the in-game economy with uh, with token inflation. Uh, the second token is is Polis. Um, and uh, Polis is a dual purpose uh, governance token uh, within the game. Uh, Polis is used uh, at, at each uh, level of governance, representing a financial stake in the game, uh, you know, providing the holder with strategic ben- benefits of uh, political domination, you know, such as uh, controlling a region uh, within space, uh, which then opens up uh, you know, mechanics of, of taxation of, of other players. Uh, the ability to define rules and laws uh, and uh, and establish. Uh, Polis uh, also provides holders with uh, true governance rights uh, over the long-term development, uh, decision-making, uh, and control of the, tr- of the treasury uh, 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 of the game uh, via the DAO, uh, which really opens up the potential for pure decentralization uh, of game development. Um, you know, what has been shared by the development team uh, thus far is that the initial features uh, will enable uh, user staking uh, to a variety of contracts, uh, both short and long term. Um, uh, and and by doing so, you will uh, earn uh, a yield uh, in the form of Polis tokens, uh, which will base, be based on the maturity of stake. Um, additionally, uh, users will be empowered to uh, submit proposals uh, and exercise voting rights uh, on public ones. Uh, and I guess the last point I'd like to make on Polis is uh, there is a fixed supply, uh, which will not increase unless the decision uh, is made to the contrary, uh, you know, through through a governance vote at some point in the future. Well, well nice. Like uh, for a, for a newbie for me is a very very in depth uh, description. But I hope is uh, our viewers can uh, go back and forward it this uh, uh, this record uh, interview later on to make a deep uh, what is uh, what is about the Atlas and Polis. But it's really interesting and uh, of course. In this 8 November, right? They they will they they are targeting to uh, launch these scores feeders for this uh, mini game also. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So then the and then the, the launch of the uh, of the DAO, so you'll be able to stake Polis. Uh, we understand that's coming uh, within the first two weeks of December. Yes. Yes. It's a really uh, exciting time. And next is why would you recommend that people join Clubstar Atlas Guild? And what are the benefits of joining a guild today? Sure. Uh, well, the club's goal really is to you know, become you know an elite guild within the Star Atlas metaverse. Uh, you know, we've seen tremendous growth. Uh, within the guild over the past two months, uh, which which is which is incredible. I mean, we're already approaching uh, almost 800 members strong. Uh, you know, the focus is to you know maximize prosperity for players, uh, but above all, really to create a welcoming community uh, that will positively influence you know the gaming experience for all. Uh, you know, by involving and using data to make strategic decisions, uh, we're actively developing tools that you know will add value for our members and help uh, help players advance uh, within the game. Um, we're a diverse group, uh, you know, talented artists, coders, developers, professional esports players, tech leaders, investors, and avid gamers, uh, and much more. Um, and we work hard to you know leverage the knowledge and expertise of our community uh, to create opportunities. And identify ways uh, where we can collaborate and, and work together towards common goals. 
Uh, and I think the last point that I, I want to emphasize is, um, you know, we see great value in having, you know, female gamers uh, be part of our community. Um, they're, they're an important voice at the table. Uh, so, you know, this is a uh, this is a, uh, an important area for us and a significant focus uh, as part of our recruiting efforts. Wow, it's uh, really interesting uh, to join the guild. And I hope everybody here now is understand how is the club Star Atlas guild and why you should join this guild. It's really uh, in-depth uh, brief from uh, slots over here. And like sample me, I'm I'm just crashed across the Star Atlas and then uh, Star Atlas Discord. I founded this uh, guild. The, the club and for me I, I don't have expertise in uh, cryptography I just uh, in other uh, field but when we are trying our best to uh, a creative and want to contribute now here I am here as uh, one of Indonesian ambassador as my privilege also to join the, the club as uh, one of the Star Atlas guild over here. So for you, everybody there, uh, this is also a good opportunity to join in the early age. And you want to... Uh, and our, I'm, yes. No, I was just going to add, I, I was just going to say that, uh, you know, we have two two great founders, you know, uh, Vlad and Boyd, they're, you know, they're, they're super active, you know, in, in our community. And uh, I think they've, you know, they've, uh, they've pulled together a great team. And um, yeah, we, we uh, And we're we're excited to to onboard you know new new players and new community members. So uh, so please don't don't hesitate to reach out. Yes 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 yes. Of course of course. We will go through our journey together in the Star Atlas metaphors. <laughs> and uh, the next question, in your opinion, opinion, given your experience, it is not a financial advice. What percentage allocation of Atlas to Polish token would you recommend to holding? I think you know to, to, to be honest, it, it, it does really depend on on your own personal play style uh, and, and focus within the metaverse. Um, you know, so my my comments will be, I guess, somewhat subjective. Um, you know, personally, I do believe there there is value. Atlas does have broad utility. Uh, you know, within the game, uh, you know. That, that being said, you know, someone like myself who has, you know, more of a, a long-term uh, focus, uh, you know, having greater exposure to Polis uh, makes sense. You know, so perhaps a, you know, 75% Polis to 25% Atlas application, not financial advice, um, you know, for me is, uh, is sort of how I'm, I'm looking at it. Uh, okay, so uh, we have uh, like a standpoint for us. This is for the long term or the short term uh, taking profit of it. And then from that point, we can distribute the allocation within the Atlas and the police. Am I right? That's right. Okay. Makes sense. It's nice, nice. Um, next question. What are your thoughts on allocation for SIP NFTs as a starting point? Sure. Uh, well, I, I think you know what's one of the things that's that's really great about about the the Star Atlas project is there there is a ship available for really every budget. Um, so I, I certainly would encourage uh, players to hold at least one ship so that they can experience uh, you know the upcoming uh, mini game, which is uh, scheduled to launch within the next couple of weeks. So I mean, it, I mean, it's uh, it's really a personal decision ultimately. You know how many ships do you, you want to own, but. I think um, you know, owning owning at least one is uh, is, is is important. Yes, yes, and then uh, this uh, ship also uh, for uh, my opinion is uh, really affordable. If we buy at least one, is a really an affordable price. So everybody can afford it mm-hmm. to make a starting point, and then how how it look like, how is the experience, how they can. Uh, evolve with the community within this uh, uh, the guild and the Star Atlas metaverse indeed. That's right. Cool, cool, cool. It's nice, nice. Um, next question. 
How do you analyze the market? What is your strategy for managing your portfolio and balancing your allocation to the Atlas and Polis token so that you invest profitably? Are there any risks that you would like to go out? Lux? Sure. Um, I, I think I think it's important to maintain some flexibility with your portfolio of assets so that you can you know, adapt to different phases of game developments um, so that you're, you're in a position to be able to deploy your assets in the most optimal way. Um, as well, I think, you know, you need to be mindful of your own sort of personal goals and responsibilities and th- those things may, may influence your decisions ultimately. Um, you know, for me, having exposure really to all of those buckets, um, you know, is an ineffective, an effective way to manage risk. Uh, and to ensure that um, you know, I can take full advantage of the game and the opportunities that it presents. Um, you know, I think people do need to recognize that NFTs are not always as liquid as tokens are. Um, so having a diverse portfolio of assets, uh, I think, is a, is a good approach, in my opinion. Diverse uh, proportion of the portfolio, portfolio, you mean, right? That's correct. Okay. And this are really interesting. Yes, as uh, we uh, in the real life also we distribute our portfolios, and that thinking and thought we um, evolving in this uh, in these opportunities, and uh, that could be what you call this uh, best strategy to. Uh, minimize the risk and maximize the profitability that could uh, what you call it, could happen it in it. I, I mean, there's I mean, there's 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 lots of exciting things that, that we have to look forward to with this game, uh, but there's also going to be uh, you know lots of iterations and, and, and things will continue to evolve. But I'm sure a few curveballs along the way. So. Um, you know, by, by having you know a somewhat balanced portfolio of assets, um, you can you can adapt more more easily to um, you know to you know to those those changes uh, over time. So uh, I to uh, actively in, in other projects that I've been involved with. with. Right, right, is uh, really interesting here. And we go to the next question. The Star Atlas team has announced the sale of now is a four additional ship. And when reviewing the GAO, we can see that some ship have been selling very well, and there is a low liquidity on the secondary market, while some of other ships have not gained the same level of traction. Would you able to share with us here your insight of this? Sure. I, I think you know a big a big driver of this is really comes down to supply and demand. Um, I think as well, you know, given you know that the game is not uh, is not is not live yet, um, there you know there is much speculation uh, as to you know each ship's uh, true utility, uh, which which is also coming into play. Uh, um, you know, clearly, rare ships with, with a low circulation supply, you know, are holding their value much better than, than others. Um, and these ships aren't aren't being flipped uh, as much uh, uh, because they're being held by long term holders for the most part. Um, you know, a ship's utility is is um, uh, you know, I think the other thing to keep in mind is um, you know, a ship utility is is further defined and validated. Uh, and when timelines are clear as to when you know a specific a specific ship can be deployed in the game in a manner that reflects sort of its true use case, um, you know that's when we'll see demand significantly increase. You know for the those the ships. So let me give you an example. Um, you know when Star Atlas eventually launches in-game ship racing, I'm sure the Opal Jet Jet sales will skyrocket. And all of a sudden, there will be huge demand for that ship because everybody wants to go and race a ship in the game. Uh, 
Um, maybe and today, perhaps that demand isn't there, but um, that you know those those things will continue to evolve over time as um, as u- utility for specific ships uh, is really targeted. Ah uh, yes, uh, first foremost is the the ship uh, circulation, and then being the time uh, uh, on the on the. Uh, what you call on the way way going the utilities of these uh, ships could be also uh, reflected uh, the the price itself on that's let's right say, let, let's say on the, the demand when the the, the game is uh, live that's right so I mean today you can you know you can you can pick up an Opal jet jet you know at a yeah, yeah at a favorable price um, but you know as soon as The game developer launches game racing. Um, you know, you'll probably see that you know the value of those ships appreciate you know pretty significantly in a, in a short period of time as demand increases for, for those assets. Yes, yes, and I, I I'm thinking now that it's because the experience the 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 game offer to us. Let's say in the racing, we can imagine now we are in the uh, unknown planet with the. Metaverse neighborhood over there, and then we make a uh, this uh, racing game over there. It's a really cool and uh, good, uh, great experience. It's because of that one, everybody uh, interested with it, and the demand is uh, there, and this uh, price of the jet jet will be get along with it also. Uh, the the internet is okay. You hear me? Okay, my I can hear you. Yeah, perfectly. Uh, okay, there. I thought there is uh, some. <laughs> no, no, I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Okay, and next question. Uh, I have uh, one question from Jeeves. He he sure. he give me this question, so I need to give it to you back. I don't want to give him. Uh, I don't want to make him angry. <laughs> so, as an investor, what would you prefer holding at this time? At this time, yeah, at this time, what would you prefer to holding? Atlas, Polis, or an FT ship? Well, you know, as as I you know as I said uh, previously, I think for sure owning owning a ship or two two is a must so that you can. You can participate in the upcoming uh, mini game. Uh, personally, I'm, I'm overweight in Polis, you know, for the reasons that I described mm-hmm. earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, that being said, um, you know, holding some Atlas, I think, is important as well. And and you know, as as we've seen, um, you know, over the past week, you know, you know those uh, you know those folks that have been holding the Atlas token, you know, have been have benefited greatly greatly from its price appreciation because it's. Uh, Uh, it's it's gone up a lot in the last in the last week. So Polis is performing uh, uh, well also, uh, but I think the returns on Atlas have been superior in, in, in the short term. Ah yes 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 I believe also like that. And uh, this one is a uh, uh, out of the out of our uh, question and answer. Uh, what uh, what do you think this Atlas and Polis? Uh, Is uh, correlated also with the Solana? Just now, the in the crypt, uh, crypto uh, price uh, tend to going up from the Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now we uh, see the I saw the the market cap and uh, um, no, not market cap. I saw in the coin market cap the Solana also uh, have a great appreciation for the price. Yes, Solana has uh, just just surpassed its uh, its previous all time high. So, uh, so it, you're, you're, you are correct; it is performing uh, very well. Um, I mean, you know, the, the Solana blockchain is you know was uh, uh, you know we've seen you know significant adoption uh, of this uh, of the of the Solana native token, which is Sol S O L. You know, the Solana blockchain was was really designed for speed. Uh, it's currently the fastest blockchain uh, in the world. It can execute over 50,000 transactions uh, per second. Uh, it's also it, it is also the, the fastest growing ecosystem in crypto with over 
four hundred projects that are that are building on the platform, which is which is really impressive. And you know, transaction fees are are incredibly low. You know, costing you know a fraction of a cent. You know, making uh, making the Solana blockchain um, ideal for the burgeoning uh, NFT and, and blockchain gaming space. So uh, so I think it's it's all great to see. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you are right about this one. And now also the uh, with the announce from the Facebook regarding this meta, I think this uh, it's uh, <laughs> uh, this 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 uh, this man is seeing something a huge potential over here. I believe that one. That's that's why he uh, make this announcement uh, in the connect. Uh, what you call connect even last time? What do you think about this one? No, I listen. I I I I'm, I'm a firm believer that it's it's the future, uh, and I think it's uh, you know we're we're really in the first inning right now. Um, so you know there's uh, there's there's lots of opportunity, lots of potential. I mean, everybody that's here right now is is frankly a, you know a very early adopter of this space. Um, Uh, you know, somebody that I follow on on Twitter sort of you know brought brought to the attention of everyone that um, you know the, the collective market cap of, of all of things is uh, is less than Dogecoin. <laughs> so you know, what is, what does that tell you? And, and I I believe that you know that that blockchain gaming is is going to be the next the next big thing uh, in this space. Um, you know, I think everyone will agree. Um, you know, the last year has really been all about, about NFTs, and I think, um, uh, the metaverse and, and blockchain gaming is is going to be uh, the next NFT style boom that's going to happen uh, within our within our space. So I think it's very exciting. Um, and I and I think you know Star Atlas is uh, is is on on the right path, and I think they're going to be you know, a significant um, uh, player in in that arena. So, yes, very nice, very nice. Yes, I like it. Also, this uh, it could be the next generation. They uh, they have uh, <laughs> this uh, meta thing within their career for for living, I believe. In this uh, next uh, years to come, when these uh, infrastructure are uh, built uh, upon it, and lastly from me and Jeeves before we uh, close and end up our very special interview with Slats from the club, uh, do you have any close statement for us? Especially, I want to uh, share for uh, like like me, the newbie in this uh, space. Uh, what is your suggestion? And according to the Star Atlas uh, Metaverse opportunity, uh, would you give us a bit more uh, brief that you would like to share with us here? Sure. Um, I guess firstly, you no know, thanks. Thanks again very much for having me on today. It's it's been a real pleasure um, uh, being a part of this, and um, you know I would again just you know encourage everyone out there to you know to reach out and uh, uh, and you know connect with uh, with our guilds. Uh, you know jo join our community. Um, we're extremely welcoming. Uh, we're we're there to. To help you and, and um, support you, uh, you know, if you're unfamiliar with uh, the cryptocurrency space or blockchain gaming, uh, you know, we have lots of members that are, um, you know, that are very active and um, there to there to help you and uh, and get you get you sorted out and organized and provide you with you know some some guidance. Um, but I think you know just you know be be curious. Um, there's lots. Of opportunities to to get involved, um, you know. There's there's so much innovation that's happening uh, around us. Um, there's just just no better time to really be be a part of of, of this space in this community. So, um, yeah. Um, so I'll kind of leave it at that. But uh, but thanks again for for having me here. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much for your close statement. I'm uh, really exciting to 
have another interview later on in the future to, to deep down more this uh, knowledge about the Star Plus Metaverse. And for you slots, uh, have a great day. Uh, regards to your family and stay safe and keep spirits. Thank you so much. Likewise, uh, best to you as well, Oji. Thanks, thanks, thanks again. Take care. Have Thank a nice you so day. much. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.